role of NICT is to verify cutting-edge space communication technologies, first in orbit. Our space communication laboratory is located in Tokyo, as well as Kashima Space Center. We have about 50 members in laboratory, researching from device-level development to application-level experiment. NICT researchers in the past received the radio wave from Sputnik, and also we have demonstrated world first GO2 grant laser communication. We are researching on space communication technology to realize broadband wireless communication for all users on ground, over the ocean, in the air, as well as in space. Our laboratory would like to promote practical use these kind of novel technologies to the society. Wind's aim is to establish high-speed satellite communication technologies. Wind satellite was launched on February 23, 2008, by an H-2A rocket from Tanegashima Space Center of JAXA. Wind's project includes a variety of research related to mobile satellite communication, such as mobile earth stations mounted on land, sea, and air. They are automatically detecting and tracking the wind satellite for communication during experiment. Wind's transponder has a very wide bandwidth of 1.1 GHz. We succeeded in establishing 3.2 Gbps satellite communication. This data rate is the fastest in the world for satellite communication. Wind plays an important role in disaster countermeasures. At the time of Great East Japan earthquake of 2011, we provided communication support for the emergency fire assistant team. We developed 5 kilogram class laser communication terminal on board 50 kilogram class micro satellites. It is called SOTA. Small laser com terminals will be the key to enable high speed communication for all kinds of satellites. So that was the first laser com terminal on board a micro satellite with about 20 centimeters in its longest dimension and less than six kilograms of mass. That allowed to mount it on a 50 kilogram class microsatellite called Socrates. SOTA transmitted a very narrow infrared laser beam, producing a footprint as small as 100 meters on the ground from a LEO orbit. UKD is the most advanced variant of quantum communications and it will be a key technology to warranty and conditionally secure communications. With SOTA, we demonstrated that space QQD technology is compatible with very small satellites. We are now working in the same line as with SOTA, trying to make the laser com terminal even smaller, to make it compatible with a CubeSat. Engineering Test Satellite 9 is the world's first hybrid high-throughput satellite using optical and RF frequencies. ETS-9 is Japan's test satellite to prove next generation satellite communications technology planned to be launched in 2021. Our role is to prove the 100 megabps class mobile communications for uh, KA band and to verify the network control technology to prove the a hybrid communication system concept. We also uh, aim to realize the 10 gigabps class optical feeder link technology. Many airlines have started internet access service using satellite communication. As the demand increases, it is necessary to increase the speed and capacity of satellite communications. The flat cable antenna is an active electrically scanned array antenna with a wide range of beam scanning. This antenna can change the aperture size without compromising ease of mounting to aircraft. We are working on communication for autonomous surface vehicles. Small satellite communication antenna can be used for parallel control of multiple underwater vehicles and would allow real-time ocean resource exploration. We are developing tracking and acquisition system for stable satellite link. With our Hikali project, we want to have optical feeder link, which will be 10 gigabit per second, mounted on ETS-9 satellite. The biggest challenge for an optical feeder link is the requirement to have real-time communication 24-7.
For this purpose, we intend to use a site diversity technique. So the Hikali payload will be able to switch between sites. Another big challenge is the link distance itself, more than 37,000 kilometers. For this purpose, we need to use very narrow uh, laser beams to be sure that enough energy will reach both ends. With the success of Hikali mission, uh, we believe we can turn a new page for space communications where we can exchange the currently used RF uh, feeder links with optical ones. Our role is to verify first novel technology in space. We want to create new broadband communication services to all the users individually by using this technology. We want to have a worldwide collaboration because satellite communication is no border. Satellite cover all over the world.